I was a, a business major and uh, I had a lot of time on my hands because the classes didn't um, seem that challenging to me and so I uh, took a lot of classes at a craft center and then I became a, a metals major. You, you get to see the effects of what your hands can do and um, there's something very satisfying about that. I guess two years ago, I got a fellowship from the Arts and Humanities Institute here at Boise State. Uh, I was interested in making objects that are actually um, used, and uh, Judaica has that opportunity. That's kind of where I am right now. I've, I'm doing um, some of the body and motion breathe work, which are um, brooches um, about breath and trying to ground you. I'm excited to get back to that work, but right now I've been working on a lot of uh, Judaica commissions. The, the ideal studio, art metal studio, for the students would enable them to do all these processes in a very safe and healthy place. I mean, that's one little table and it can be used for about ten different processes and we just have to rotate equipment out of the way and right now all the hammers are just hanging out over it so sometimes you might be working there with something and it would be really horrible if a hammer fell on it um, but there's no place else to stick everything. The lapidary equipment has never been out because we have no location for it and as I mentioned we stopped doing enameling because we need proper ventilation and students were very disappointed when I told them. When I actually start thinking about it and the students start talking to me about you know, Annika, it would be really great if I didn't, you know, elbow the person behind me while I'm working because we're so crowded. I was like, oh yeah, that would be good.